Hi everyone, I'm Roland Tagufa and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's part 11 now of our topic about uh, stairs and railings. And uh, our topic for today is uh, about this uh, uh, use baluster per thread on stairs like this. We're going to do like this, this baluster and we're going to make a support. If I'm going to click this one, I'll go to this edit and there is a baluster placement and in baluster placement there is use baluster per thread on stairs. These things we are going to explore for today. Okay guys, uh, before we continue, if you are new to my channel, please uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Alright guys, let's get started. Now guys, uh, my Revit is open and uh, next that I will do is uh, we're going to create a new project. Create new. And then uh, a new project, there is a project template and I'm going to select metric architectural template. And then project and then OK. And then uh, next uh, that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to change a unit. UN. And then uh, we'll place length and then uh, meters and then two decimal places and then OK and then OK. And then uh, next that uh, we will do is uh, we're going to create uh, a detail line. We're going to create uh, as uh, what we have done before. We're going to create uh, this uh, 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 spiral stair. So first... Uh, I'm going to make a detail line, DL, and then in detail line, I'll just uh, select this uh, uh, center and arch. So I'll select this, and then uh, I'll point it and drag it into uh, maybe 3 meters. And then uh, like this. And then uh, next is uh, I'm going to create an offset offset and I'm going to offset this to 1.5 meters and then here and then next is uh, again detail line and then uh, I'll uh, make a straight line and then uh, next is uh, I'm going to make a circle I need to make sure that uh, the diameter of our circle is 0 0.25 it's exactly 10 inches so that uh, my whole uh, foot will sit into these stairs and then next that I'm going to do is I'm going to me make uh, an array array and then I'll go to this uh, radial and then uh, I'm going to place my center line place it uh, on this and then uh, I will uh, hit here and then go to this uh, top and there it is and I'm going to make a uh, 22 steps and there it is and then next that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to trim extend to core to send to corner trim extend it and then there and then uh, I don't need this uh, circle anymore I delete it and then uh, next is uh, we're going to create the stair, spiral stair. I'll go to stair. And in stair, I'm going to select this. Uh, okay, I'll adapt this 22. I have already done 22 here. And then uh, everything is okay. I'll adapt everything. And I'm going to do this uh, is create sketch. I create sketch. And then uh, be sure to select this boundary. And pick lines and I pick this line and here this line and then next uh, I'm going to select this riser and then again pick lines and I'll pick this line this line here here 
here now 17 remaining 16 remaining 15 remaining and then uh, up to the point where uh, this is uh, zero remaining and then uh, one remaining and then zero remaining and then next time I'm going to do is I'll go to this stair part and then in stair part I'll select this center arch and and then again I'll place this one in the center and here I start here and go up to this point and there it is I'll finish uh, edit mode and then finish again this edit mode and here is our stair I'll go to 3d and here is our stairs and next that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make a custom rail I make this custom rail and here I'll name this one duplicate and I will name this one custom railing one and then also here I am going to name this one uh, edit type and duplicate it and I'll name this one custom railing two okay guys uh, since our topic is exploring this uh, uh, baluster per thread on steel now we're going to stick with this so next that I'm going to do I'm not going to change anything about this uh, rail structure still the same I'm not do I will not do anything and still use top rail but I'm going to select this baluster placement and edit and in edit baluster placement as you can see there is already a baluster and if I'm going to uncheck this one and then apply and then preview and then apply this one is uh, uh, doing uh, uh, stairs space at point 0.27 as you can see here point 0.27 is space each stairs is spacing point 0.27 this is the binning if I'm going to select this none I go to select none none and then uh, I'm I'm not placing any 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 rails on this uh, center no 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 and I only have this uh, start post and end post and then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, as you can see apply and then apply then okay there is nothing and here is the use of this uh, baluster per thread on stair I'll just uh, click it back and go there and uh, as you can see I'll place it here and then uh, I'll check this and then I'll make this one three and then same baluster two and then apply and then okay and then apply and then okay there it is now it's uh, giving me a rail at, at three rails in each baluster sometimes it is four it's depend upon the spacing because these are all equal space so as you can see it's there now now next that I will do I'll go to this uh, edit type again and then uh, I'll go to this uh, baluster placement and here I'm going to remove this I'll remove this also and then remove this none and then I'll select this uh, never and then I'll place this one center and then apply apply oh, I cancel it again go back and then none And then uh, again uh, place this one never apply then okay and then apply then okay and there it is 
there is no start post and there is no end post what we have here only is uh, placing this baluster on this top of this uh, thread it's only here on the thread we have and then again guys uh, we're going to explore the other one here on the other one i just select this and do the same what i'm going to do is uh, again uh, i'm not going to touch this rail structure and i'm going here and then uh, again i'll place this as uh, none and then also here i'll make it all none none and then here none also and here i'll place it never and make this one one and then apply and then okay and then apply and then okay as you can see all of the stairs there's some stairs that uh, it's not coming here we have here because of that uh, equal uh, spacing one two three and there are some stairs that is not uh, like this stairs there's no no baluster no baluster on it and uh, if we're going to edit this like for example i'm going to edit this uh, location of this baluster i'll go and edit and place this one in the middle as you can see our uh, total length is uh, total total length of this uh, is 1.5 and in the middle it's uh, 0.75 and uh, to to do, to bring this uh, a rail in the middle i just go to edit and there baluster offset you can see baluster offset i'm offsetting the baluster up to 0 0.75 and then their baluster is coming up now uh, next time i'm going to do is uh, we're going to create uh, the same as i have shown earlier i'll just uh, click this one here i'll just uh, place this one here and uh, we're going to uh, explore this and uh, remodel this and make a baluster that uh, is supporting this uh, whole stairs now next that i'm going to do is i'm going to click these stairs and i will remove the support i don't need the support i'll just go and make a support none for this uh, right support and then in left support i'll just uh, also make it none and then in our uh, run and thread i'll go to this run type i'll uh, place the thread of uh, thickness of 0.5 and here i'll uh, select uh, a nosing of uh, five centimeter and then uh, the nosing i will select this radius 0.4 and i'll place this one on both left and right and then apply and then okay then apply then okay there it is now i'm going to select a material then again select it and then go back and i'll select a material i'll i don't want the riser so i'll uncheck this riser and then apply and then i'm going to select a material for our thread and uh, i'm going to select a wood and uh wood wood stain would uh, maybe i used to use this soft wood lumber and then okay and then apply and then okay and then apply and there it is and in uh, realistic it is like this now our stairs is hanging so there is no support this is what i'm going to do we're going to change this uh, rail into support i will place i will replace all these stairs into support so next that i'm going to do is uh, we're going to create a profile so i want to have a profile that is uh, holding this stairs from here going there so i'm going to this uh, home tab and then in my home i will uh, select new and then in new i'll select this english 
and I'm going to make a metric profile rail and then okay and then next that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line uh, a circle make a circle and uh, make any circle and then I'll change the unit and then I go and make a unit of uh, centimeter usually when it is small I use centimeter and if it is big I use meter and then two decimal places and then okay then okay and then change the unit I want unit of this uh, one one and then I'll click this and make this one make this temporary dimension permanent and then I'll click this and make this five centimeter and then okay again I'll select this and I'm going to make a parameter and then I will name this one radius R and then okay and then uh, again I'll select this and then center mark visible I check it and then now the center mark and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a reference plane reference plane PR and then uh, I'll just uh, make it like this and then I'm going to lock this lock and then uh, again lock this and then uh, I'll make a dimension and uh, make this dimension 30 centimeter then okay and then uh, I'll save this save and uh, I'm going to make a folder and I'll name this one baluster per thread baluster and then uh, I'll double click the folder and uh, I'll name this one PRF profile for profile and then here and then uh, I'll name it uh, custom And then uh, make an option of one and then okay and then uh, save and then I will load this into project load into project now it's there and then I go to 3d and here I'm going to select this select this rail and then uh, I'll go and do this and then uh, I'll make edit rail edit structure and I'm going to insert one and here I will name this one rail one and then uh, I'll make a height of point 15 and then uh, also uh, let's say point 20 and then this one is offset of uh, negative uh, point 15 and then uh, I'll choose this uh, PRF custom handrail and then uh, I'll select a material and uh, we'll use a material of stainless steel and then OK and then apply and then OK and then in preview we have that uh, rail so I'm going to uncheck this top I don't need that and then I'll just uh, select this one and then here I'll just uh, as you can see uh, use per thread and uh, we have this uh, baluster square so we'll also go going to change that one and uh, as you can see I have done the rail now and this one I selected it none none all is none and uh, what it is working only is this use baluster per thread then uh, apply and then okay and then apply then okay 
and here the rail is still there and if you see it there here is our support and in 3d it is like this so next that i am going to do is uh, i'm going again to create this one because this is short as you can see it's not coming on right this is higher and this is offsetting here up so what i'm going to do is i'm going back to this level one and uh, i'm going to create again another rail so i'll go to architecture and uh, create a rail rail and then uh, i'm going to click this one start and reduce and then uh, i'll just uh, go and here up to here and then uh, there and then uh, select ok and then in 3d it is like this so i'm going to change this i'll change this and then uh, i duplicate it duplicate and i'll name this one And then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, this one I forgot to duplicate. This is a uh, custom rail, name custom rail. Okay. And then this one is uh, name it. Uh, I rename this one also. Uh, make this one uh, I go back duplicate uh, custom let's say uh, left custom rail then ok and then again I'll just insert it and then I'll make this one uh, rail 1 and then here offset of 0.20 and here I'm going to offset it at negative uh, 0.15 and then I'll select uh, uh, PRF custom handrail and then here I'll select a material of stainless steel and then OK and then uh, again apply then OK and then I'll remove this top I'll remove and then I'll go here and here I'll place this as one and then uh, none 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 and then uh, OK and then the baluster I'll 0.75 apply and then ok and there it is here is our custom rail left side and here is our custom rail so here what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make an offset of that one I'll uh, offset it at point 0.2 also. I'll make an offset. Edit. Okay, and then uh, make this one uh, point 0.2, negative 5, negative 15. Okay, apply, then okay. And as you can see, I'll show it to you in top view. I'll 
I'll just uh, select that one and uh, I'll pick a host and pick this host. And there it is. And here I'm going to remove this baluster. There is no baluster. I'll just place an edit and then uh, I'll make all none and uncheck this one and then apply and then that one apply and then OK. And here it is. And then uh, as you can see, uh, you can, you can, uh, because it's still uh, away, so I'll just uh, drag this and then here. And then uh, I need to offset this, make an offset, 15, apply, 0.15. so it's over so I'll again uh, offset it that uh, maybe edit I'll make it 12.12 uh, 12 5 and then apply and then ok and then apply and then ok and there it is and then in 3d they are now coming together so uh, so that this one is not like this, what I'm going to do is I'll go to level 1 and I'm going to create a slab. I'll make a slab and then uh, make a slab and then rectangle. And then, uh, okay. And then uh, again, I'll make a material. Edit this slab and a material and uh, I'll place a wood select wood oak, oak wood I think so oak flooring then ok then ok apply then ok and there in 3D it is like this Now, here is our support. Now, next that uh, we will do, guys, is uh, we're going to create now the support that is coming at the bottom of this, uh, of this stairs. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for today. And uh, we will continue again tomorrow. This uh, video is very long. It will take uh, one hour to finish this video. And tomorrow, our uh, topic is... Uh, the support uh, that will hold this uh, the thread support that will hold this uh, stairs and uh, guys uh, thank you for watching uh, Lafi is till we meet again bye bye